Comparing yourself with other people is just so totally, completely useless. I mean, it's just, it's unbelievably useless, you know. How many years did I not like my personality because it was so aggressive and bold and straightforward and I couldn't seem like I could open my mouth without sounding like I was barking at somebody? And I wanted to be so sweet and nice and I would try to lower my voice and sound meek and even have a more humble walk. And <laughs> I mean, I'm not exaggerating. But now I finally get it. Could you imagine me trying to do what I'm doing? <laughs> Could you imagine me trying to do what I'm doing or going into some of these nations that I go into that are full of devil worshipers and people who, men who hate women to start with, going in there and say, well, I'm just so happy to be here in your country. <laughs> Praise the Lord, I just want you to know. <laughs> and I hated my voice, and I understand now why God gave me my voice. If nothing else, people listen because it's unique. How many times do I hear when I'm out, I didn't recognize you, but I heard that voice. <laughs> the voice. I always say I'm a mouthpiece in the kingdom of God. I may not have much else going for me, but I can talk. And you've heard all my stories. I mean, I've had some of the dumbest, stupidest stuff happen concerning my voice. Called a spa to make an appointment to get a facial, and the lady on the other end said, do you have any facial hair? Well... I didn't get it. I, I wasn't, I'm liking myself. You know, I'm fearful and wonderfully made. I'm okay here. And so honestly, I thought, what? Yeah, I got eyebrows and eyelashes. I mean, that's what I thought. And I said to her, I said, well, yeah, I got eyebrows and eyelashes. And she said, no, I mean, do you have a beard or a goatee? And I said, I am a woman. <laughs> I am a woman with a deep voice. And I tell you what, I have had so many laughs about that. I think it is the funniest thing. And you know what? There would have been a day when that would have put me in the bathroom floor for three days. Oh God, I just, I was in the wrong life when you gave out voices. I just don't know what's the matter with me, God. Why do I have to be a woman and sound like this? It's just so embarrassing, God. It's so embarrassing. I think it's hysterical. <laughs> Come on, you are going to be amazed how things are going to change for you. The torment you're going to lose when you finally say, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am not an accident. I am not a mistake. God has got something for me to do. Matter of fact, God has got something for you to do that only you can do. So get over yourself. <laughs>